Call of Duty athletes. George Truly, the ghost of date, your number one elite game and stud muffin athlete. We're balls deep, only halfway in. We're finger blasting our own buttholes, and we're ready for another amazing video. Take that finger out your butt. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. Otherwise, you're saying you don't like prostate stimulation, which makes you definitely, definitely not cool. We got a lot of things to talk about in this video. This video is going to encompass everything to do right now with the state of Call of Duty. It's broken. The community, everything that is corrupt about Activision, Treyarch, the streamers, the whole kit and caboodle, everything, bro, is completely and utterly fucked up with Call of Duty. When Call of Duty with Black Ops 6 right now is in the worst state of the history of this franchise. And I don't think anyone can argue that fact. And if you're enjoying this game, if you're having fun with this game, that's great, man. Congratulations. But that isn't going to negate the facts that your boy Ghost of Vate here is kicking. First of all, the biggest thing we got to talk about is the Call of Duty game playing you. You're not playing it, okay? It's an absolute joke. There is no way, how any way possible, anybody playing this game can actually say that they are not a victim of manipulation. Like, you may be enjoying this game. That's great. But just let it be known, the game that you are experiencing, unless you're, like, reverse boosting or whatnot, because then you can circumvent this manipulation, and even then, you still are being manipulated. And I like to go into that as well to provide further proof for those out there who say skill-based damage, engagement, optimization, matchmaking isn't real. It is real i have proof it is real but this game is just an absolute manipulation and it's just a joke it's crash it's horrible like it's not even a video game like you're not playing call of duty you are simply being manipulated from one game to the next there is nothing happening that is not being controlled and when you reverse boost into dumb dumb lobbies you can see the manipulation trying to get you i would like to read a comment by one of my most amazing subscribers out here this guy's obviously intelligent intelligent and i will say this this is this is his point and this is a great point i'm just gonna use his comment here on one of my most recent videos that drives home the disgusting practices disgusting acts that most just ridiculous game in the history of any kind of online multiplayer i've ever seen in my entire life and this is what it is if you're at the top of the score board then you'll experience shitty eomm every match guaranteed earn a frenzy kill or a high score streak and you're suddenly experiencing aim resist which has been going on for a long time for those of you who remember el presador will not let me acquire a target it keeps pushing me off whatever keep... oh my god it keeps pushing me off target treyarch you need to fix this aim resist you don't want to talk about tackling trees Fueled by beast blood. You want to camp, huh? Huh? If you don't know who that is, I'm sorry, you missed out the greatest era of Call of Duty. In fact, before I go any further, I want to say I really miss the old eras of Call of Duty. I miss the personalities. I miss the people involved. Nowadays, there's a bunch of millennial Gen Z bitches, and the best that we can do out here is complain and cry about Call of Duty. But there's no one doing anything fun out here. There's no one doing anything entertaining. There's no really good villains anymore. There's no CSGO Lotto, just happened to find a website with a best friend Brock type stuff. And it's sad because, honestly, Call of Duty content on YouTube is as bad as it's ever been as well. And you can't roast anybody. You can't make a fight of anybody because everyone gets sensitive and they try to strike your videos and everybody's a giant pussy so go f yourself all you goddamn beta males out there you're a bunch of dorks nonetheless let me continue on with sam elliott stash here you're suddenly experiencing aim resist consecutive spawn kills and no hit registration the game wants you to keep playing out of frustration let me repeat that the game wants you to keep playing out of frustration because they know you'll get bored and quit if you continue to pub stomp the goal is to keep you hooked it's a dopamine drip machine Hell, the game doesn't even do spawn flips anymore unless you get spawn killed half a dozen times. Matches are predetermined too. If you won and had a high KD last round, then you'll get spanked. Oh, daddy. No matter, okay, gay. No matter how much you sweat, you cannot beat EOMM. And that is a fact. And I will tell you that EOMM and the manipulation of hit detection, spawns, everything that was just mentioned by Sam Elliott's stash here is real. And I'll, I'll show it to you. I will be playing in dumb, dumb lobbies, like guys who are absolutely horrible that have no business doing anything to me other than just being cannon fodder for my amazing gameplay that you're seeing behind you. But what will happen is I will start the game off and get to the highest kill streak I have, which is usually Chopper Gunner or the Dreadnought, and I'll even get close to nukes. But then also I'll just go on a death streak. Like I'll just start dying out of nowhere. I'll spawn horribly. My hit detection gets bad. The aim resist kicks in. 
It takes two bullets for them to kill me. It takes me an entire clip. Everything starts to go wrong the best it can. I mean, it only could do so much when you're playing against really, really bad players, but it does its best it can in those parameters of that game with those horrible players to try to give those really, really bad players some kind of chance against me once the game realizes mid-match that I am just dominating these kids and these dum-dums in these lobbies. And also the fact is this, right, it is a game that wants to keep you playing out of frustration because when I play in dum-dum lobbies, I don't feel that need to keep playing. Skill-based matchmaking engagement optimization matchmaking is 100 on purpose and they will never get rid of it because if they got rid of it it actually would decrease the player base because people love to be addicted to the frustration they love to be addicted to trying to chase that dragon and when i'm kicking ass and taking names in these dumb dumb lobbies i don't feel like the need to play anymore i'm not addicted to call of duty i get in there i get a great gameplay i do well i get it maybe an hour hour and a half at most and i don't feel the need to come back and play it again i don't feel that frustration of chasing the dragon and so Sam Elliott stash is 100% correct. So am I correct? We've been saying this for a long time. My subscribers are the best. If you aren't subscribed, you're just telling yourself that you're a loser and you make poor decisions in life. So if you haven't subscribed yet in this video, yeah, you might be a loser. You might be, uh, you know, one of the illegals getting across the border. So we got that out of the way. Now let's just talk about even the other things that are happening in this game. The hacking, the wall hacks, the aim bots. It's horrible. It's ridiculous. Like literally ranked play right now is un playable because it's just filled with cheaters and hackers ricochet anti-cheat doesn't work it doesn't work if you're really good you're going to see cheaters and hackers all the day if you're not good you're not going to see cheaters and hackers because you're not playing in lobbies that are actually filled with good players and cheaters and hackers are obviously good players because they're cheating and hacking so you're just not going to be a part of that world but anyone who's good at this game where you know we see a thing like ranked play take place where the good players go which i still understand why do we have ranked play when you already have ranked play in pub lobbies? Well, because like I just mentioned, it's skill-based matchmaking. EOMM is never going away, so it's always going to be in public lobbies. At least in ranked play, I guess you get to play against cheaters and hackers too, so that's a good pong, good fun time. So cool, have at it, get some cool skins, I guess, and brag to all your loser friends that get stuffed in lockers. Like, that's a sign of times. I know things change, but in Call of Duty has changed definitely for the worse. It's changed for the worse. We used to have shields back in the day, but the shields now are just like unstoppable. And there's so many more of them. Like Warzone and the streaming absolutely killed Call of Duty multiplayer, killed the fun, the crossplay destroyed it. Everything came together to make what we have now uh, just as the worst Call of Duty in the history of the franchise. Like where the Call of Duty franchise is right now, I don't care how many people are playing it, that's fine. There's also a billions and zillions more people. People have way more access to gaming consoles nowadays. The population has increased. So I don't care if there's more people playing it now or not. Could be not ever, I, mean, that, I don't believe there is anyways. I'm going to tell you that. I don't believe the numbers they tell you. And I'll tell you why I don't believe the numbers they tell you. Fortnite publicly displays the amount of people in every single lobby, in every single game mode. They show it. Every other game, for the most part, will show the player count. If Call of Duty was doing so awesome and there's so many people playing the game, why don't they make the numbers public? Like they used to. I don't know if people know that, but a lot of you maybe watching this video aren't privy to that. But Call of Duty back in the day, up until I can't even remember, to be honest, used to have the player count every time you logged in, but they're not, they're not showing them. So I don't believe the numbers are even that good. That's just a fact, Jack. That's great, but not a point. I will say that the people in the Call of Duty community, like the streamers, the crossplay we were talking about earlier, are all just Activision shills, the part of the advertising agent, and social media, and the advent of social media, and how information is shared, and, and people on the line, and how millennials, Gen Z, young kids and whatnot are very susceptible to all this stuff they get from streamers and the advertising because advertising works otherwise advertisers wouldn't be spending billions of dollars every year trying to sell products so it works and all these people are advertisers all these people streaming are advertisers all these people who get banned all the time but somehow make a phone call and they're unbanned they're all complicit in the whole situation of bringing it down to because they will never speak out it's worse now than ever before they will not be critical they will not actually talk to activision they'll just suck it dry suck that activision money hog dry and that's how society works nowadays because we have been tricked by the devil to worship the dollar bill and money is what's the most important thing nowadays and everyone's trying to hustle and get that and get this and everything is about money while the reptilian shapeshifters are draining the children of adrenal chrome in south america with jim caviezel trying to stop them and mel gibson speaking out about it and it's just crazy it has led to what we have now which is the worst case worst scenario worst situation worst time in call of duty history and listen the bare bones of call of duty black Ops 6 is fine right like just playing the game the mechanics taking everything else away from it all the crap all the cheating all the skill-based matchmaking all the losers in the call of duty community you just take that away and you just leave the actual skeleton of call of duty it's fine that's there's nothing wrong with that 
right? It's pretty easy to get that working. And from year to year, they have different stuff that people like or don't like. That's not the problem. It's everything else around Call of Duty. It's everything that is built up around Call of Duty. And it is the biggest piece of shit manipulation game ever. It is now. It's just, it's just gross. It's disgusting. I want to touch on one last thing as well before I go, and that is with the streamers and these huge Warzone tournaments I see them in that pay hundreds of thousands of dollars. That is just a way to pay Call of Duty streamers without actually having to give them a contract. I didn't realize that because I never pay attention to that dork shit. No offense, I'm not into tournaments and CDL and all that crap. I think that's all just stuff that was created by corporations to make it seem important so that they can make more money and it's not just a revenue flow for Call of Duty and corporations associated with Call of Duty to keep them complicit in this horrible dopamine drip machine. But they just get paid for these huge tournaments. And I was like, I never pay attention, but like all these big streamers and all these big Call of Duty YouTubers and whatnot, they always seem to get invited to these $100,000 events. And I was like, where's the money coming from? And as far as I can tell, it comes from Activision and teams that are associated through Activision and these development teams and everything. So these guys are obviously not going to bite the hand that feeds them. And that's just a way to get all these streamers involved in these tournaments and then just pay them out by saying, oh, they're going to win a tournament because they you know they get this much money. And it's just, it's kind of a way, you know, to keep them on the good side. It's just paying them off. And uh, that's just in our crux of the problem that nothing will change. Call of Duty is done. Like it's done. Like, like what we have now is never going to change. And I want to finish it off with this. Like this is the answer, and it's the only answer you got, is you just can't play the game. Like stop playing it. Because complaining about it, if I'm being honest, I mean I like making videos. It's fun to rant, it's fun to entertain you folks. But I know because I'm old enough and mature enough and I don't have this huge ego. I know because I've been doing this for 15 to 20 years with more videos and more views than anybody. I don't care what you think. You don't know if you go around, act somebody. I've been doing it longer than anybody. But I will say this, that no matter what you do, no matter what we say, none of these videos are going to change or make a difference. The only thing that can change and make a difference, which if we're being honest, stop kidding ourselves, isn't. And people are, you know, easily manipulated and they don't know what's going on, you know. There's 100 million people that aren't going to see this video, but will buy the next Call of Duty. Is you just have to stop playing it. Videos aren't going to change it. I'm not going to change it. No one's going to change it. I mean, you can make laws to change it if you can find that all the stuff that these Activision and all these developers are doing is against the law and manipulating people and tricking them sort of like how Facebook was with algorithms and they had to go in front of the Senate. If people would be drawing attention to that, I hope, maybe, maybe, maybe if we, you know, we can be you know, positive here, have some optimism, maybe these videos will start drawing attention to that. They'll start getting upset enough. People start making enough noise and then you have to have like a Senate hearing and they have to go ahead and talk in front of people and say that, you know, they have these algorithms that are actually not being real for people having a real experience and they're manipulating people and that's wrong because we're not having authentic experiences and we're being tricked to be online and play the game and like they got had to get rid of supply drops because that was gambling and wrong so maybe 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 will but as it's been for 15 16 17 years and we always say oh next year call of duty's gonna be great it's not it's never going to be it's not going to be until these manipulations and these tactics and the system itself that is holding up these franchises is changed nothing will and these videos I don't think will, so just stop playing it was my long story, short answer, long, all night long. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm the Ghost of Eight. Thank you for watching. Stay based, question authority, and don't want the reptilian shapeshifters. Bring it down!